Hi, and welcome to a chip off the old block toys. This is Jeff. It's been a while since I've done a Lego City mock video, so today we're going to change that and we're going to do one. I have fielded the question a few times over the last few months of why am I spending so much money on the underground? Today I'll answer that question. And, well, let's start off with the idea of my channel because that plays right into it. The idea of my channel was to be unique. I didn't want to just buy Lego sets, string them together, and say, look at my great city here. Because honestly, there's no creative value in that. You know, if that's all I'm going to do, all that shows is that I have a little money to throw around, and I know how to follow instructions. And that's not what I wanted with this city. I wanted this to be a unique city. Yes, there are Lego sets that come directly from a box, but there are so many of them that don't. And that's the reason for the underground. In all the cities that I've seen in the YouTubes, I've seen very few that have anything underground. They just lay flat on the table. And I wanted to do something different. And so I've got a sewer, and that can be found right here. I'll zoom in on it. You see a little bit of water. And you know, you've got a little alligator and you've got some a mouse in there, some snakes, frogs, you got all kinds of wildlife in there. And you've got some uh, rungs there for a ladder to get up to the street level there, as you see on the right there. Uh, you know, you got the stairs on one side of the wall and then you have the rungs on the other side of the wall. And then you have this parking garage. And you might think, oh, well, that, that parking garage is quite excessive. It's huge. It is huge. And I, I agree, it is. But I don't want to have parking above ground because then that just wastes space to have all that parking up, you know, on the ground level. I will have some parking, but not much. Most of it's going to be underground. But the, this is just the beginning of the city. This city is going to be over 500 uh, base plates that are 10 inches by 10 inches and we literally as of right now we only have 53 10% laid down so what's going to happen on the other 450 uh, base plates a lot um, the underground is not going to go through the whole entire city in fact very soon it's going to drop down one level there's going to be a hill so the parking garage is only going to be one level instead of two. And then a little bit further out, it's going to drop again and it will not at all have an underground. So the underground will not go under the complete city. The other thing is I'm going to put more sewer lines. Right now I only have two on the edges. I'm going to run along the back wall and right the one I just zoomed in on. We're going to have a subway line going through here. We're also going to have a bomb shelter. Many cities in the U.S. have bomb shelters due to the atomic weapons being built in, in the 50s and 60s. A lot of buildings were built with bomb shelters, so we're going to have a few of those. Also, the Grand Lion Hotel, it will have a basement that will go and take up part of the parking garage. And also, I'm going to do a small cave, and I'm going to do the Catacombs of Paris or something like it. And here's a few pictures of the Catacombs of Paris. There are a couple other ideas I have, but because those, those ideas are so far off in time, I don't want to reveal them. I don't want my ideas stolen, and I don't want to see another YouTuber doing my idea before I can get to it because I want the city to be unique. So that's all I'm comfortable sharing. But that is the reasons why I am spending so much time and money on the underground. I just want it to be different. And I do believe this is different. And I hope you guys think this is different enough to hit the like button and to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment below. And also turn on all notifications. That way you'll know whenever I release a video or have a live stream, which I try to do one of those two every single day. And most of the time I do. If you want to support the channel, you can uh, share this video or other another video on other social media platforms and get the word out that the channel's here. 
Another way you can do it is head over to BrickLink. We have a store. It's called a chip off the old block. We have a little over a million pieces as of this recording. So if you want pieces and you want them fast, head over to my store. Link's in the description. We ship usually within 24 business hours. So if that's what you're looking for, please again, head over to my store. And also, you can support the channel by making a PayPal donation. There's a link in the description. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next video.